Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 7, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So there was a massive amount of movement in, in WTI. Uh, today we're down 4.84%, uh, and if we uh, draw this triangle pattern here we can see that we do have indeed a broken below this triangle and uh, that is uh, that is a very bearish sign at this current stage we are finding support we found support roughly at 96 dollars and uh, we could fall towards 93 towards 90 and if 90 breaks then the 200 moving average comes into play down here at 81 so yes we did not break to the upside we did break to the downside uh, but we do not have a full candlestick if we tomorrow have another red candlestick underneath here uh, then it is kind of uh, obvious that we are going to drop significantly lower there are several things that are are happening here first of all um, Expectation of a recession are just growing for every single day. Um, monetary policy is tightening and um, that will go against the economy and therefore demand for uh, for oil or energy will be less. So we are trading at we're trading at the uh, at give or take at this current stage in 93 96 dollars. And if you look at where we were before the pandemic, when everything was going um really really well it was basically around here we were trading at the 53 dollars so nearly twice the cost of uh of we were doing then so yeah we have had periods and usually when when uh, prices get this high back in 2008 for example prices got up towards 90 140 dollars and then they just fell off a cliff roughly a hundred dollar drop within a half a year and we may be seeing the same thing. If the economy slows down, less demand, and then this will just completely drop towards $30, $40. If we look at uh, MACD, it is very bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and so is RSI. There's quite a lot of room to the downside before we get over um, sold. So may see a rally up towards this trend line, and then if we get rejected and pull back, then that it's kind of a sign that this market is going to drop. So let's look at natural gas and completely the opposite here, but we have gotten here a uh, shooting star and that's usually a very bearish signal. We have, we did basically reached towards these highs here and this area should be an area of massive resistance. We This is not the time of year where this is supposed to be rallying. So getting to this point uh, all the way up towards the 6.4 dollars uh, that is uh, quite an achievement uh, for basically being in april so if we get a, another red candlestick here tomorrow and break below this candlestick then we may drop towards uh, the middle of the bullish band that's roughly uh, 5.2 dollars and then to the 50 moving average at 4.8 and then the 200 moving average at 4.5 dropping below that then the trend changes completely but we have been finding support around the 50 and the 200 moving average so um, we will also be significantly oversold when we get dropped and therefore we may see a rally and then uh, continue downwards if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, is bullish still stochastic is, is becoming bearish and the rsi is also bullish but we are overbought so this pullback here significantly overstretched being overbought and technical indicators basically turning around and it's kind of a sign that we may see this market tumble within the next um, few days so hope you find it helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much